Hello and welcome to the Voice of Todd. I'm Tom, and in this video we're going to take a little bit of a closer look at Star Wars Outlaws. This trailer dropped on the Xbox Game Showcase yesterday. Now we're going to get more information on it once Ubisoft have done their showcase. Fortunately, I can't do that one live, but I will stream my reaction when I have finished my stream on the other channel. Yeah, I don't know what time it'll be, probably later on in the day. Uh, but keep an eye out, because I will be covering the Ubisoft Showcase, because it promises more of this game. Star Wars Outlaws is the teased Ubisoft open world game. This is just a CGI trailer, but you know what? It was cool, so I thought we'd cover it. And there is some really cool little things in here that I didn't pick up on on my first watch. My initial thoughts will be in the description if you want to watch the full Xbox Showcase, just like we've done with the other videos. But this is more of a distilled uh, second reaction, deep dive, a little bit more of a, of a look. There isn't an article for this one, so we're not going to be going over that. All we're going to do is talk about what's in the trailer, and I'll pick out a couple of things. Why don't we just jump in and see what's going on? So, first of all, Massive. That's what I hear. Massive do the division, which is a beautiful game. Oh, it looks so good. I think it looks awesome. We've got classic stormtroopers, so this is set, and that I didn't pick up on that, but that's Han Solo. Obviously, that's Jabba. This is set between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Or the main this main trailer is. The game, I believe, is as well. And that is, I believe, K, our heroine and protagonist for this game, and her little companion. I think I read somewhere it was Looks called like Nyx. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a, a Loth cat esque creature. Um, but it's pretty cool that you've got this furry companion. And this trailer just screams Star Wars to me. It looks like a Star Wars trailer. And actually, I think this looks better than some of the movie trailers we've had. So this is... It's just a CGI trailer. I do not believe this is an engine. Unless it's already said that and I've missed it. I love the speeder bike. I love the look of the world. It's a, it's a backwater planet. Very Wild West style. I love that you've got broken bits of ship in the scenery. Looks so cool. The music is great as well. And the weapons look like Star Wars. It's a cool looking ship as well. I'm not a massive fan. I love the Millennium Falcon as a ship. Don't love the design. It's a cool looking ship. And I love that there's a, a stealth droid in there with a, in a trench coat as well. You'll never look over your shoulder again. Proper speeder bikes. Rancor. That's a cute looking creature. That's very Andor. Um, Rogue One. Corazon. It looks like Corazon. It might not be. And then the, the Turks or something. This is cool. And hopefully this is hinting at flying in the game. Star Wars Outlaws, coming 2024. Coming next year. We will learn more at the Ubisoft Showcase. There's not really much that I can I can say other than it looks cool. Like this whole... So, yeah. Han Solo in Carbonite. Gives us a setting. It links us into the original trilogy. The original trilogy is my favourite era of Star Wars. It's like a... I don't know, is it like a three or four year period? From A New Hope to the end of Return of the Jedi? I do like the Mandalorian setting, which is like five years after Return of the Jedi. That's, this is the sweet spot. The, the New Republic, you kind of lose me a bit. The, the, the Old Republic and the, um, like the Clone Wars era, you kind of lose me a bit. As cool as it is to have Jedis and things, you kind of lose me a bit. This is my Star Wars. This is the Star Wars I grew up with. I, I was introduced to A New Hope I was eight, I think, when I watched it at home on VHS. Blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. And then Empire Strikes Back is just another level. Empire Strikes Back is my favourite Star Wars film of all time. I've absolutely loved Andor because it's the start of the Rebel Alliance. It's an exceptional TV show. And this is playing in and around that world now. What I will say... 
let's just look at this as well. Because this, this does hint to space combat for me. And this is so cool. Just a Star Destroyer jumping in and obliterating the, the cruiser. And classic Stormtroopers. But let's take a look at our, our protagonist. Playing... It's not Pazak. Pazak is Kotal. Sabak? Is it Sabak? I'm guessing that they're playing whatever game Han won the Millennium Falcon from Lando. I think it's Sabak. I can't remember. But, yeah, so, it's an open world game. Does this trailer, is this trailer giving you hints of gameplay features? Will there be mini games where you can go into a cantina, you can throw some credits down, play cards? That would be cool. Obviously, the Kai K is a scoundrel because like there doesn't seem to be any Rebel Alliance iconography on her, and she's being hunted by bounty hunters. On second thought, I'm out. So I thought, and oh, this is cool. I like the ricochet, and then the just kick it off. I thought that that was Fennec Shand. I don't think it is. It's clearly male, so no. The time frame would fit, but I don't think it is. It just looks so Star Wars. Looks so good. And if, if you are on the run from not just the Empire, but also Bounty Hunters, maybe even the Rebel Alliance. It just looks cool. I, 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 I want to love something in Star Wars again. It's just, it looks so cool. Is this hinting at true exploration with the ship going off galaxy map, shooting around the worlds? Get off my ship, Jalen. Give me a chance. Jalen looks a little bit like Kyle Katan, doesn't he? Dangerous. Just a little bit. But if you pull this off, you obviously leaning into heists, setting yourself up. You'll never have to pull a job again. Very smuggler, scoundrel, um, scum and villainy vibe, which I love. That's cool. So another planet that looks like there's various different planets. This looks like the planet where we saw the guy looking out the window. I think this might be the same planet. But I like that, obviously, maybe outfit changes or whatever, but we have a different costume, maybe a, a darker, a wetter world, weather. I, I mean, who knows? We're just spitballing here. We don't know anything about this game. We know absolutely nothing. I need to see gameplay, which we will see later. But I think this is looking really cool. Very Andori. I, th I think this is the same world. Are you pulling a heist against that guy? What are you stealing? Does it get you on the? Does it get you on the Empire's sort of list? Do you meet up with OT characters? We don't need to. I'd be more than happy if we didn't. It would be nice for Star Wars to feel like a giant universe again, instead of everything being focused around the Skywalkers. Not that I have any problem with that. I love Han Solo. I love Luke Skywalker. I love Princess Leia. The other thing, actually, that I've just thought while I've been thinking about characters, you don't see many droids. Obviously, you've got the, the trench coat stealth droid, which is a old clone, Clone Wars droid. And he's obviously a big part of this because he's on the box art. But, man, I think this looks awesome. I don't know what it is. I'm hoping for space exploration, uh, like or at least jumping between planets, maybe some sort of uh, galactic interplanetary conflict, like uh, ship combat. That's what I'm trying to say, ship combat. It's been such a long day. It's so hot here. Ship combat, obviously... It's leaning at it because you have a ship that you control. It's, it's in the trailer. It says it's your ship. You go off on a heist in the ship. Really cool. So I'm hoping that there's space combat. Planetary exploration, missions, side missions. If it's an open world, um, you know what would be cool? And the vibe I'm getting from this, and I, I don't want to put my expectations too far out there, but I'm kind of getting Red Dead style, you know, 
heists, maybe elements of, of characters that you meet and you've got a small crew or people that you get jobs from. And you... That's the kind of idea I'm at and I'm willing to drop my expectations way, 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 way down. But I think, knowing what Massive can do, this is going to be pretty good. And I'm looking forward to seeing more later today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.